Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about Colorado, Trump, yet another community being damaged by the former president, and the pushback from Republicans there. Trump's apparent campaign strategy has been to push lie after lie and hurt American community after American community. Not content with disrupting the town of Springfield, Ohio, with his outburst about kitty cuisine during the debate. Not happy with hindering aid and relief to Americans dealing with the effects of Hurricane Helene. Trump has decided to extend his campaign of hurting Americans to help himself to Colorado. Trump went to the state to use the city of Aurora as a prop. While there, he played into lies and exaggerated claims about gang activity in the city. He went on a bigoted tirade. He said, quote, we're talking a lot about Venezuela because Aurora is really infected by Venezuela. Infected by Venezuela. I really hope people recognize this kind of rhetoric for what it is. The city knew Trump was going to lie and play into existing lies. Before his event, the city released a statement, quote, A gang has not taken over the city. The overstated claims fueled by social media and through select news organizations are simply not true. It is tragic that select individuals and entities have mischaracterized our city based on some specific incidents. How sad is it that American cities have to issue preemptive press releases because they know the for a former president will make baseless claims? That release and the constant pushback and statements from officials who actually know what they're talking about did not stop Trump. In fact, he expanded his lies. He now claims Aurora and other unnamed towns have been, quote, invaded and conquered. Mike Kaufman, the Republican mayor of the city, has pushed back on Trump's bogus claims repeatedly. Recently, he said that Trump, quote, grossly exaggerated and have unfairly hurt the city's identity and sense of safety. In Trump's rambling, bigoted speech, he talked about how the cops want to do the job, but some nefarious and unidentified force he didn't name wouldn't allow them, which is weird because the cops say otherwise. The chief of the PD there said, quote, it's not overrun, without question, Aurora is still a very safe city. It is still a wonderful community. Jason Crow, who is the U.S. representative for the 6th District in Colorado, also pushed back on Trump's claims plainly. If you don't know about Crow, he's definitely not someone who is a stranger to a dangerous situation. He did three tours in Iraq as part of the 82nd Airborne and the 75th Ranger Regiment. He had this to say, Quote, what is occurring is minimal and isolated, and to be clear, it's never acceptable, right? We never say any level is acceptable, but it's not a surge, it's not a change. There is no takeover of any part of this city, of any apartment complex. It has not happened, it is a lie. Like the other situations in which Trump has lied about local events to try to scare people, there is united bipartisan pushback against his claims from the people who are actually on scene. Let's be clear, this is fear-mongering from Trump. He went to Colorado to use the city as a prop. He doesn't have a chance of winning Colorado. So his purpose in going there wasn't to campaign to win the state. It was to use them. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.